What is up guys? This is Ivan for the channel Car Ghost and as you may have guessed by the thumbnail, I'm pissed. And this is a short story episode about what happened to my car. Let's roll the intro. So, as you might have guessed by the title, I got a check engine light. And how I got the check engine light? It is because I went to a cheap gas station and put $35 of premium 93 octane, high octane gas. And I drove with it for about three, four days. It was about three quarters of a tank. So I drove with it about three to four days. And then by the end of it, last day, probably a week ago, I got the check engine light on and I started getting frustrated. First things first, you know, I thought that the car's engine has problem. I wanted to go and hook it up to an OBD scanner to see what's going on, but I did not have a chance to do that because I was at work. So what I did is I stressed myself. I started making a plan on how to sell the car, maybe scrap the E350 project and just a lot of stress. So. What happened was the fuel gauge went all the way down with the check engine line still on. I was driving home, not even thinking about anything that is related with fuel could cause that. I went to a regular Mobile One station. I'm not affiliated or I'm advertising any of this, but I went to a Mobile One gas station and put $10, which is approximately three gallons three and a half gallons of gas and I drove home everything was still the same the check engine light was still there I parked the car next morning I wake up to do the move for the street cleaning and what happened was the check engine light was not there it didn't occur to me in the beginning but as I start thinking about it uh, I realized that that has happened once before with this same car and with that same gas station. So my stupidity to put the cheap gas worked against me. And my recommendation to you guys is to always use the main brands, the things that are controlled, quality controlled gas stations like Exxon or Sunoco or Mobile One or Shell or BP, you name it, the main guys have a better quality control over their products and it's even better to put a regular gas from a, a little more expensive but well-known gas station than to put a cheap gas, uh, cheap high octane from an unknown gas station. So this is the conclusion I guess um, now I'm good I'm back on track I'm uh, probably planning to thin these windows around it just I gotta get the financial stability stability to do it financial stability to do it um, a few things have to be fixed on the car I still need new tires all around I also need to change two of the axle boots on the front and uh, breather throttle breather and also need a three oil caps so the car it's a very small leak of oil but it's still there and uh, just you know I'm a perfectionist so I don't want anything on the engine to be um, not the way it is not the way it's supposed to be so yeah that was my uh, my story for today I straight myself for nothing and um, I realized, as I knew before, that on the long run, putting a good, high quality, expensive gas, preferably high octane in your car, would save you a lot of trouble and a lot of stress in the long run. That's all from me for today. You guys have a wonderful day. I hope you got uh, anything out of my story. And that's it. Bye.